Hi everyone, and welcome to It's a Wiggly Wiggly Podcast, the podcast where we explore the history of the Wiggles. I'm Bonnie. I'm Sakura. And we hope you enjoy this episode of It's a Wiggly Wiggly Podcast. Well, my guy, hello everyone, and welcome back. Uh, it's been a very long while, but are you guys ready to wiggle? Hey, 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 pretty much you over there. What have I told you about wiggling that, all right? Okay, uh, we can't... There. Oh my oh my god, we have a new person here joining the cast. Hello, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh of course. I'm Captain Feathersword, the friendly <coughs> Yeah, I can't do it because <laughs> it, 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 it does a strain on my voice. Hey folks, it's me Bobby. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh well at the very uh, at the very least, like uh, we try to keep up with the illusion, but yeah. Hey folks, welcome back to It's a Wiggly Wiggly Podcast. The podcast where, like, we try to come up with the intro and everything, however, sometimes it ends up killing our throats. I'm Sigourney the Diesel, I'm here with my good friend. Bonnie also knows OT Pod 7. Hey folks, welcome back to the It's a Wiggly Wiggly Podcast. It's been a long time, and I'm finally happy to be back to this podcast after so long. Same, uh, same here, honestly. Uh, yes, it has been a while and everything. I think it's been, like, a good, like, what, a month or two since we've done, like, uh, Wiggle Time and everything? Uh, no, we did Wiggle Time back in June, so almost... Oh, wow, that, that long ago, huh? All right, all right, uh, all right. so, uh, yeah, pretty much, like, uh, it is very good to be back and everything. Um, yes, and uh, better, and uh, what better way to uh, basically come back with the Wiggles than uh, basically doing a, another album, although this album has a little bit of a, uh interesting uh, history to it as well. Uh, both like before and even after this album was released. Yes. So this al- so this album is basically a story and songs com- uh, you know series. So this was basically a series of five albums released by the ABC of uh, different uh, ABC for Kids artists that did did this series. Basically, there were some songs and some stories. Basically, as as the title says. So. Pretty uh, pretty much. So uh, pretty much like I mean, as Barney also mentioned in the uh, community tab. Uh, so far, this is, like, the uh, only EP that, like, uh, The Wiggles has ever released in terms of, like, uh, albums and everything. Yes, that is correct, because as far as I'm aware, I did some research, and, yeah, th- this is the only one that they, they ever did, as far as I'm aware. And uh, pretty and uh, pretty much, like, uh, once we get into this album and everything, we're probably going to pretty much understand why, like, The Wiggles are just like, yeah, you know what, let's never do this ever again. Yeah, because uh, without giving away too much as to what we think of this album, let's just say this album wasn't wasn't a good idea from the very beginning. Yeah, oh, uh, at the very least, like at least in terms of me and everything, like um, I will give the album this and everything. Like it's got a very good, like um, uh, pretty much it's got a very good, like front cover and everything. Like pretty much since I saw like uh, the cover of the album and everything, I was just like, okay, I'm at least a little interested to see like where this is going and everything. Oh yeah, the the, uh, the front cover is it's great. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's simple, yes, but look, hey, it's, it's still better than nothing. I mean, I mean, it's better than nothing, and I mean, like, at the very least, like, uh, I mean, at the very least, like, it does look like the, wigg- uh, the Wiggles are having a fun time, as always, and everything. And I mean, uh, and I mean, like, uh, at the end of the day, like, uh, pretty much this album is still important, uh, it's still very important and everything, because without this album, we probably would never get another fan-favorite character that's pretty much been a staple of the Wiggles ever since, Captain Feathersword. Captain Feathersword. Now, let me, let's give you guys a little bit of a backstory with the character, because in case anybody who's new to the Wiggles doesn't know about Captain Feathersword. So the, the how Captain Fiddlesword was created is very is very interesting. The Wiggles at first they started doing birthday parties for shows. Basically, people would pay them to go to birthday parties and they would do shows. And in one of those shows, Anthony noticed that that there was a pirate at a birthday party, you know. And he thought, hmm, I wonder if I could get something interesting. But there's a problem, the the sword, because the sword is yeah. intimidating. So he thought, wait a second, how about we give him feathers for a sword? And well. Thus was born the character, and Anthony was the first one to, to play the character. As you can see by yes, the photo, it, that's actually Anthony as Captain Feathersword. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's true. And uh, pretty much, I think we, uh, I think we actually, uh, I think we actually alluded to this as well too when we did the uh, 1993 version of uh, Wiggle Time, because uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, if you notice and everything, like uh, right when Captain Feathersword was about to be produced, Anthony was just like, um, uh, actually, uh, actually, I think I left the stove on. Hold on, guys. And, and then all of a sudden, like, oh my god, Captain Feathersword, where did you come from and such? But yeah, no, that's actually Anthony playing Captain Feathersword. Yeah, because uh, you can tell it's Anthony because he leaves and then all of a sudden he's not there. So yeah, he's Captain Feathersword. Yeah. And and he would continue to do the character up until 1996 when uh, Paul Panic, as you may know, took over. And let's just say that was that was a change that completely, it completely transformed the character for good. 
Pretty much, and like, uh, no doubt about it, we'll probably get into more details and such once we get to that timeline in the uh, Wiggles history and such. Yes, but yeah, this was the very first album to introduce Captain Feathersword. And, and not only Captain Feathersword, but also his crew too, like uh, Penelope, Raj, and uh, Nimrod, right? Nimrod, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so, pre so, uh, so pretty much... It's like uh, so pretty much like uh, this album is still important like in uh, in some way shape or form even though again like uh, even the wiggles itself sometimes like kind of want to pretend this album never existed in the first place yeah because this this was the very last album to be deleted from the catalog so, so. And i mean like uh, and i mean like uh, unlike the other two albums and everything know that about it this third album right here costs like a very pretty penny if you want to try to like uh, get it for your collection oh yeah i think Remember, remember back in the first episode where I said the first album was expensive as hell and the rarest? No, this album is the most rarest, actually. So, yeah, this album is very difficult to get, and the only way you can listen to it is on YouTube, actually. Pretty much, yeah. Which so, uh, so I mean, like, unless, uh, I mean, like, unless you like the idea of mortgaging your house and everything, uh, pretty much if you ever want to listen to this album, it's got to be through YouTube or pretty much through other means as well, too. Yeah, poor internet archive is still not back as we speak, so... Yeah, oh, uh, ho uh, hopefully we'll be, uh, hopefully we'll be back up. Uh, uh, hopefully we'll be back up as soon as possible. But yeah, until then, uh, uh, until then, it looks like YouTube is the only way to go so far. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, all right. So before we get into this album, real quick, we should mention let's that give like a little disclaimer. Let's give a little disclaimer. So how yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much that's what I was about to do. So pretty, uh, so pretty much for this disclaimer, Barney and I were originally only going to talk about the songs in of itself and everything, and we were going to save the story. Uh, we were going to save the story so like uh, second for last and everything. However, when listening to this album the first time, Barney and I realized that, like, you know, uh, I quickly realized that, like, uh, while the songs are, like, part of the feature of the album, uh, pretty much it's definitely the stories that are basically the main focus of this album. While pretty much the songs themselves are just more, like, not really much second thought and such, but, like, they're only just there to, like, uh, transition, like, you know, a scene from a story and everything and move on to the next scene and such. So because of that, Barney and I quickly realized, all right, you know what? In order to make this album work, we're gonna treat this album as if like uh, uh, as if like we're transforming the Wiggles into a really useful podcast, real quick. But uh, by that, uh, what we mean by that is that uh, we're gonna uh, we're actually gonna talk about the uh, we're actually gonna talk about the stories um, first and everything. So basically, we're gonna cover uh, we're gonna cover the four stories and everything. Give them their own ratings and such, and uh, pretty much we're also talking about the songs as well too that like uh, that are featured in like all those four stories. Yeah, we got six songs for this album, and most of them are just like thirty seconds, <laughs> except for a couple. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, yeah, 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 pretty much, uh, pretty much with uh, with an exception for one, uh, with a set, uh, yeah, with an exception for one and everything. Pretty much the rest of them are just like, uh, like I said, they're very short story, uh, very short songs, I should say. Uh, very short songs that only like serves to like a uh, transition like from one scene to another scene within the story So yeah, pretty much because of that we're not gonna have to talk about the stories first and such Yes, which which is very important and and without giving too much away Let's just say the stories uh play a bigger part than the songs which you know Yeah, pretty much which uh, uh, which, uh, which would that be a good thing or would that be like a horrible idea? Oh, well, let's see. find out uh, well uh, well, actually, it's kind of feather sword. We say, let's find out together, me hearties. Come over here. I'm sorry, like Mr. Krabs now. Ah, gah, 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 gah. But that's how Anthony made him sound, so it's yeah, nice. pretty much. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, uh, 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 all right, Bonnie. Well, uh, do you want to go ahead and uh, kick off the uh, first story, uh, aka the introduction to Captain Feather Sword? Yep. I, I wish. Right, I, go I, right I, I wish I had the flute to do the to do the opening, but I don't have one. So, but but yeah, the first story is called Adventure One. Meet Captain Feather Sword and his friends. Basically self-explanatory. Yeah. This story is basically an introduction to Captain Feathersword and and his crew, and basically uh, Captain Feathersword plays a, a little bit of a gag with Greg, which, which he basically repeats everything that he says, which I find hilarious. <laughs> same, uh, same here, honestly. Yeah. Like, uh, 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 honestly, just real quick, a little bit of the joke. Like, uh, uh, honestly, I like how the way the joke is set up as well too, because like pretty much like at first, like you wouldn't think like, because uh, pretty much like you wouldn't think that like Captain Feathersword is walking, you know. Uh, Greg and everything, like uh, uh, especially when they said like okay, or pretty much, uh, but pretty much, uh, uh, but pretty much as soon as like Greg starts saying hey and everything, you finally get the joke and such. And uh, honestly, listening to the first time and everything, it did get a little smile out of me because like uh, because uh, because like I felt like the joke was definitely well executed and such. And and the, and the joke comes back after the after the first song, which basically <coughs> instead of just Captain Feathers, so the crewmates, the crew and Captain Feathers will repeat the joke as well, which is hilarious. Yeah, so yeah, this story is very short and doesn't have much going to it. It's just basically an introduction story, and for an introduction, wow. 
We're already starting with a good, with a good, with a good a score. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's Captain Featherstar in of itself. Go ahead, take it away. All right, so Captain Featherstar, the song. We already talked about this in the Wiggle Time episode, but this is the first time we're gonna cover it in full. The song, and to be honest, this song is great. You know, it, it's it, it it basically introduces you to who Captain Featherstar is and how to do the pirate dance, basically. Instrumental wise, it kicks ass. I will say that it kicks ass, and I love the little. Uh, Oh, what's that instrument? Uh, I think I, I think I think you're, uh, I think you're looking for like bagpipes or something because yeah, like I did hurt bagpipes. Yeah, yeah. Lo- yeah. I love the bagpipes that they use for the song, basically. And yeah, the song, yeah. the song is great. You know, it, it does a good job of introducing who Captain Feathersword is and how to do the pirate dance. So for me, the first song of the album, Captain Feathersword, gets a seven out of ten for me. All right. Well, pretty much for me, like I'm going one rating higher for you and uh, giving an eight. So. Uh, yeah, like I said, the first time I listened to the song in terms of like uh, the wiggle time, uh, the wiggle time video and everything, like pretty much I was already on hook and uh, I was already on hook. Like the minute, uh, uh, pretty much the minute like uh, the backpipe started playing and such, and I uh, pretty much uh, listening to it again within the album and everything. Like uh, yeah, pretty much I agree with Barney. It's still a very good song. Like uh, pretty much uh, serving as a great way to introducing who the captain is and such. Uh, but pretty much, uh, yeah, like, uh, going into, like, the uh, Captain Featherstar song and such and everything, like, uh, pretty much I agree that uh, it serves as a great introduction to Captain Featherstar, um, as well as, like, uh, yeah, doing the uh, little pirate dance as well, too. Like, I, I don't know if it's just a pirate dance, but even just more, like, uh, pre- uh, pretty much having the pirate dance just being, like, uh, stuff uh, stuff that, like, you know, pi- uh, pirates and I'm sure even a lot of shipmates uh, used to do back in the day as well, too. Like, uh, uh, like you know, climb the ropes and everything, hop on one foot and such. Um, d- uh, just, ba- uh, just basically a nice little, like... Uh, it's basically a nice little subtle way of showing kids that, like, hey, like, you know, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much you can turn anything into, like, uh, dancing and such when you put your mind to it and such. And, and I mean, pretty much, like, uh, pretty much, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, they do have a point about that. Uh, I really don't have too much to say on the song in and of itself because, like, I think I pretty much covered most of what I wanted to do when we got to Wiggle Time. So, uh, so pretty much, like, uh, yeah, I still enjoy Cap- the Feather Story to this day. And uh, pretty much for the, uh, for the song in and of itself, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. All right. And, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, it turns out the uh, story, uh, the story as well too, that introduces Captain Featherstar. Like I said, like um, it's a very good introduction. I definitely do agree with Bonnie. Uh, it's a good introduction of like showing off uh, who Captain Feathersword is, uh, what is, and and especially what his character is like too. Like especially during the monkey scene and everything. Like you can tell, like this is going to be a very fun captain and everything. That uh, uh, that pretty much like again, like uh, uh, that pretty much again, like will pretty much become a staple in the Wiggles. Like um, as the uh, as the years go on I'm and everything. I'm basically a fifth Wiggle in a way. Yeah, 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 pretty much. And uh, pretty much, like, um, yeah, like, uh, that's all I have to say about the introduction. So, uh, so in terms of, like, the introduction in of itself, like, from the story part, um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 as well, too. Why not? Like, uh, there's nothing really in it that much that, like, uh, there's nothing really in it that, like, you know, drags the, uh, that, like, uh, drags the uh, introduction down in the slightest and such. And uh, pretty much as a way to introduce the album and everything, like, it's a good way to, like, uh, yeah, introduce, like, uh, the type, the uh, the type of adventures and such that we might see with the captain. So, uh, so yeah, I'm comfortable with giving it. Uh, we're giving both the story and the song itself an eight. All right. So the story for me is an eight, but the but the song itself is a seven. Not much different from what you from what you said. Uh, it, it's it's not it's not a grand story, but it's still very funny that I that I think eight is the per, eight is the perfect score to give the story to. Now, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, the 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 stories. I don't know if we're gonna rank them in the finale. When we when we get to the scores, because uh, this is mostly about the songs. So, what do you think? But uh, but uh, but I mean like uh, but I mean like at the end of the day, like you know, we're still gonna like make the stories and stuff as well too. But yeah, pretty much as Barney said, like we may or may not rank them. Um, if you guys are very curious and want to know like uh, what our uh, what our favorite, or least favorite uh, story says, then maybe either we'll do it in like a comment section, or maybe we might, or maybe we might, uh, maybe we might make a, a separate video about that. So we'll see. Yeah. So anyways, uh, let's move on to the second story, which is The Storm. The Storm. So go ahead. All right. All right. So pretty much uh, The Adventures of the Storm, it's pretty much as it says and such. Like, uh, pre- uh, pretty much like we get, uh, we see the captain and the crew, like, um, uh, ro- uh, rowing across the sea and such. Uh, before the storm and everything, like, uh, they do see a little bit of wind. There's a rain coming as well, too. And uh, pretty much so, like, uh, Penelope, Raj, and Nimrod uh, start seeing... Uh, start singing like a very short song, uh, literally titled "Wind, Rain, and the Sea." Um, although the title is a lie, because uh, it, it, yeah, actually the title is a lie. I everything because Penelope sings the wind. Uh, basically, like uh, Roger and Emma are saying about the rain, but the captain doesn't say it about the sea. Where's my money? Okay. <laughs> You lie, you, uh, you lie to me, Wiggles. All right, you said there was gonna, uh, you, uh, you said there was gonna be a song about the sea and such. So where's the song about the sea? 
Uh, but, uh, but anyway, jokes aside and everything, uh, the Switch on, like, uh, Wind, Rain, and Sea, like, it's fine and such. Like, I really don't have uh, too much to complain about it and such. Um, uh, the one thing it will get, uh, the one thing it will get the song credit for is, uh, is that, like, uh, uh, pretty much the woman that's playing Penelope and everything definitely has a very beautiful singing voice. And, like, uh, the way she carries, like, her part with the uh, wind and everything, like, um, it is very beautiful, I will admit. And same thing with uh, Roger Nimrod as well, too. Like, uh, they, uh, pretty much you could tell, like, they really added a lot of harmony when it came to, like, uh, the rain and of itself. That which, honestly, by the way, which, by the uh, way, that, uh, which, honestly, uh, which, by the way, Roger and Imran were played by Murray and Jeff, so... Yeah, pre yeah, 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 pretty much, like, I kind of figured as much as well, too, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty much, if you guys can't tell and everything, like, uh, yeah. So uh, Greg is the one that's the narrator. So pretty much, he's narrating like all the adventures that are uh, that are happening within the four stories. Anthony is the one playing Captain Feather Sword and such. And uh, yeah, Mario and Jeff are playing like uh, Roger and Emra respectively. And uh, who was the woman that was playing uh, Penelope again? I think her name is Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa, which will later go yeah. on to play uh, Dorothy uh, for a while, for a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yes, it is true and such. So, uh, so pretty much all the Wiggles cast are still there and everything. They're just playing like, uh, well, pretty much outside of Greg. Uh, they're just uh, they're just playing like different characters and such throughout the song. But yeah, pretty much like, uh, uh, pretty much like uh, Mario and Jeff like uh, really, uh, uh, really added a lot too when it came to like uh, seeing their part about the rain and such. So, uh, yeah, even though like it's a very short song and such, like I have nothing to complain about it at the end of the day and such. So, uh, so, uh, so for at least for the song itself, I'm gonna give it a six, honestly. Uh, do you uh, do you uh, do you have anything you want to add, Bonnie, before I uh, continue on with the story? All right, so this one this one is a little bit filler, but I don't think it, I don't think it's that bad. I, and yeah, to me, it's also a six. It's not bad. it's not it's not bad at all. I, I don't have too much negative things to say about this. I, I do agree that it's somewhat filler, but still good. It's still pretty good at the end of the day. I love I love when uh, when uh, Jeff and Mari sang in harmony. Man, those two have like really good voices when they harmonize. They, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they do. You can tell like they had a lot of practice with their vocals and such. Oh yeah, totally. But yeah, six out of ten for me. So yeah, continue with the the storm. Alrighty. So yeah, uh, so yeah, as we continue on with the story and everything, um, I, I, actually we literally, uh, actually we literally like, uh, uh, literally come across our second part of the, uh, uh, our second song for the story and everything because this is when like uh, Captain Feathersword was about to sing his own piece about the sea. Uh, that's when their boat was rocking on the sea. Rocking on the sea, oh, the rocking on the sea. The friendly yeah. pirate ship is rocking on the sea. We're all, all gonna die so today. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, jokes aside and everything, uh, first time I actually listened to our boat is rocking on the sea and everything, I was like, okay, yeah, all right. And now, now we're talking and such. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much like uh, with the air guitar and everything and uh, with the vocals, like uh, pretty much. Um, Given by Greg and such, and we're also and also Penelope uh, saying her part about like pr uh, pretty much like as soon as the sea calms and everything, then uh, that's when they're gonna start sailing and everything. Uh, it's a very fine and catchy song and such, like uh, de uh, def uh, uh, definitely one of the best songs like um, in the album and everything uh, by a long shot. Uh, honestly, it's a no-brainer why I like the Wiggles, but actually we recorded the song uh, twice actually, which uh, uh, which yes we will cover them once we get to their respective albums that like uh, they uh, they debuted in and such. Uh, but at least in terms of this album, in terms of this version of it, so, um, our boat is rocking on the sea. It's a very good song and such. Um, again, I don't have too much to say on it, seeing as, like, you know, it is short and such. Uh, but honestly, and everything, like, um, I think, like, the short time length and everything, um, it's pretty much much, uh, it's pretty much needed and everything to, like, uh, to pretty much, like, uh, have this song leave a very lasting impact on you that, like, uh, that, like, pretty much even to this day and everything, like, I can still, like, uh, here and like visualize the uh, instruments coming into my brain and stuff whenever, uh, uh, whenever I hear the song title and such. So, uh, so because of that, I'm going to give our boat is rocking on the sea a seven out of ten. All right. Well, for me, this is my favorite song from the album. Uh, no question about it. Uh, I do think this version is great, but I'm going to be honest. Like I know, I know we're going to wait until we get to to later albums, but the '99 recording is the best by far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I do agree with you right there. Just wait till we get to the 06 recording. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Just wait for that, folks. Just wait for that. Yeah, but in terms of this version, the '93 version, which is the from, from this album, it's great. You know, it's great. I love the I love this version a lot, and I, I love that like like they they, they use a, a a Yamaha keyboard for the drums. Basically, like you can tell they're digital drums, but they <laughs> they fit. They do. They definitely fit very well and such, and. 
Uh, honestly, alrighty. So, uh, alright. So after that song, wait, that's uh, when wait, I, haven't give, I haven't given my rating yet. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You didn't give the rating. Okay, go ahead, give me a rating. So this one, I changed my mind a little bit on the rating. Really? Originally, it was gonna, it was gonna be an eight, but now it's gonna be a nine. Oh, okay, a nine. All right. Uh, aren't these one of those times where I wish I had a webcam on? Because like I was literally like uh, sitting there with my mouth agape and such, wait, uh, waiting for you to either like give it a, uh, give it a seven or something. No, I wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> even gonna give it a seven. It was a nine, basically, because I love this song. So, uh, I, I, like I said, I definitely don't blame you. So, because like you know, it's a very, because uh, uh, like it's a very catchy song at the end of the day, and so so, uh, so pretty, uh, so pretty much, I don't blame you nor anyone that like finds this song very enjoyable for uh, for the right reasons, honestly. Anyway, now we're all right, all right. So now we get back to the story, and sadly, yeah, this is where the story comes to a halt. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So pretty much uh, after that song and everything, uh, Malika started coming uh, uh, onto the ship and such. And so, what did they do for a leak and everything? Uh, well, pretty much, like, um, at first, uh, they were going to get, like, a couple of buckets as well. Uh, but pretty much, uh, all the buckets somehow have holes in them, which I don't know how that's possible. Don't ask. Uh, probably uh, probably just there for where, where, hmm, where, have, where have I heard that before? Oh, yeah. The bucket was old and it had five holes. It had five, it had five holes. God damn it, Thomas. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, so pretty, uh, so pretty much, uh, so pretty much, while like, um, uh, so pretty much, while like the captain and the crew are sitting, uh, are sitting in the uh, boat and everything, uh, scratching their heads what to do, and hopefully like they don't drown and such. Uh, the captain's just like, oh, I know, let's just use our hats. I'm sure they'll be fine and everything. So pretty, uh, so pretty much, like uh, they use their hats to uh, scoop the water out and everything, and somehow it works and such. And and uh, pretty much, and uh, pretty much, somehow, I'm guessing that uh, like uh, their hats didn't get very wet or anything, or that like it didn't cause any more problems. <laughs> but whatever, fuck convenience. You got you, you got a little. Pretty much, you gotta love them in kids media, folks. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's basically where the story comes to an end. And honestly, um, all right. So pretty much the storm and such. I will say, yeah, this is definitely the weakest uh, out of the album and such. Like, uh, honestly, the storm like started. Uh, honestly, the storm definitely did have like some promises um, in the beginning. Like, uh, pretty much like uh, with those two songs and everything. Like, uh, pre uh, uh, pretty much those two songs and everything. Like. Uh, definitely hope. Uh, uh, definitely at the very least, I uh, hope like strengthen the story a little bit as best they can and such. Uh, but then, like I said, as soon as uh, as soon as like our boat is rocking on the sea is uh, just ending and such, that's when the whole story comes to a halt and just basic. And it's just basically the crew's just like uh, standing there like uh, Nimrods. No offense, Nimrod. Uh, ba uh, basically, they're just standing there like uh, Nimrods and everything, wondering like, oh my god, how do we get the water out of the uh, uh, out of the boat and everything and. That's basically about it. So, yeah, so, uh, it's pretty much it's pretty much a, a complete waste of time. And and basically, basically like basically like, uh, gee, I uh, gee, I didn't think of that before. You know, you know those moments where you basically where they basically say, oh, we can use our hats, and we're sitting here going, gee, we didn't think of that before. Yeah. Uh, wait, uh, uh, well, uh, actually, at the very least, and everything, like I guess we'll give him like an A for creativity at the end of the day. Uh, but I do agree that like, uh, yeah, pretty much like. Uh, but yeah, pretty much like the whole story ended up uh, did end up being a waste of time as well too because like I, pre I pretty much they kept like uh, they kept uh, holding in on the joke about like you know the leak hitting like uh, all the crews and everything and then the jokes about like uh, and then the joke about like being a hole in the bucket like going on for a bit too long and such um, as well as like uh, as well as the captain just sitting there like scratching his head and everything where pretty much like uh, yeah yeah it just brings the whole story down to a halt and such. To where, like, uh, at the end of the day, it's just, uh, to where, like, the end of the day, the story in itself is fine and such. But like I said, like, it it, it just really drags. That's really uh, that's really all uh, all I would say. Like, it pretty much just drags and such. There's nothing really like that interesting happening uh, happening anymore. That like, uh, that like uh, honestly, like uh, that, uh, that like honestly, it's it's just a boring story. There's there's really damn. There's really not much for yeah, me to say. I, I'm, with, I'm with you on that. Yeah, this is a very boring story. It starts off good, but then it falls off the rails as soon as our boat is rocking on the sea comes to an end. Pretty much. So, uh, honestly, I'm not going to be too harsh with the story because, like, at the end of the day, like, it's still an album for children and such. But, uh, but, uh, but I mean, like, also to be fair and everything, like, you know, there's play, there's plenty like uh, other children's media where, like, uh, pretty much like uh, they're in like just one set and everything. Uh, but uh, but at the same time, it's like they, uh, they use that one set to their advantage to make like a very entertaining like uh, kids program and such, or at least like at a very uh, entertaining scene, like uh, as best they can as well too. Whereas pretty much in this one and everything, like uh, like I said, as soon as like the second song, our boat is rocking on the sea is done. 
that's when the entertainment value just drops. Yeah. Very, uh, very suddenly. But uh, much like the way like the bowl was about to drop and everything too. Yeah. So exactly. because of that, uh, for my final rating, I'm gonna give it a sol- uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely gonna give it a middle of the road five, to be honest. Uh, for the story itself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the story itself. All right. Well, I thought long and hard about I thought I thought long and hard about this after listening to what you had to say about the story, and I agree 100 percent with what you say. However, mm-hmm. I have to give this a four. Okay. It's just that. It starts off great, but then as soon as our boat is rocking on the sea comes to an end, it just falls off the rails and it becomes very predictable. And you're like sitting there going, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much you're just sitting, uh, pretty much you're just sitting there going, I wonder if Shining Time Station is on right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but no, no, jokes aside, you're sitting there going, oh come on, can we? Can this story please come to an end, Jesus? Yeah. And and uh, honestly, that's never a good sign. We're like pretty much like you know you want. Uh, we're pretty much like, you know, you want a story to end that badly. Yeah. We're, uh, and it's a shame, too, because the, the, the elements were there to make it good, but they just derailed. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 like I said, they just fall really flat on their face. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a four for me and it's a five for you, right? Yes. All right. So, next up is story number three, Captain Feathersaurus, Buried Treasure. <clears throat> All right. All right. So go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, go, uh, yeah, go ahead. This is your turn now. All right. So the story starts off with Captain Feathersword and his crew still in the ship. And Penelope's fe- feeling sick with, with, with seasickness. And, and Captain mm-hmm. Feathersword is like, oh, don't worry, Penelope. We'll soon be there. And then and then they see land. And, and basically the story is basically a treasure hunt. And before, we, before they land on the island, there's a song called Buried Treasure, sung by Greg. And well, yep. let's just say this song took us completely by surprise as to how it short is, it was. So, uh, I, 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 yeah, actually, go ahead, you first. All right, so I'm shocked as to how how short this song was. Like, it started quickly and it ended so quickly that I'm just sitting there going, "Is that it? Is that it?" Right. <laughs> yes, that was it. You want a refund? Yeah, and honestly, yeah, this all this sto- all this song does is waste time. It, it brings the story to a halt and it interrupts the flow of the story. So. Yeah, yeah. In my, in, I'm sorry, Greg. I love you. I, you're my favorite Wiggle, and I love I, I love your vocals. Your your vocals are always great, and the song is great as well. It's just out of place, really out of place. Yeah. If, if it was placed somewhere else in the story, I would have been completely fine, and I would have rated it higher. But because it's it's somewhere it's because because it's somewhere at the beginning and and it interrupts the flow of the story. I'm sorry, but I have to give this a five. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, uh, no question for me as well, too. Like, uh, uh, honestly, originally, like, the first time I listened to it, like, uh, pretty much, like, the first time I listened to the, uh, I listened to Treasure Hunt, um, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much, like, um, I did, uh, I actually did enjoy it. Like, uh, pretty much I enjoyed it enough, like, despite it being very short and such. But then once we listened to it the second time and everything, I was just like, hey, yeah, actually, maybe this song isn't really as that, uh, maybe this song isn't that good as I remembered it. And then when Barney told me uh, uh, told me uh, told me his reason about why he didn't like the song, uh, by the time uh, by the time we listened to it a third time, I was just like, yeah, you know what, Barney has a point. Like, there's really no purpose for the song to be here at all. Like, if anything, it's like, out of place. It's, it's completely out of place. If if it was placed at the end, I would uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like pretty much if it was placed at the end, or at least during the part where like uh, the captain and crew were walking along to find a buried treasure, then like pretty much then uh, pretty much I would definitely be a little bit more lenient on it. Uh, but yeah, because of the placement and such, and like, uh, yeah, give it to like how very short it is as well too. Uh, yeah, pretty much I'm on the same boat with Barney. I'm giving it a five as well. Yeah, this song, this song is was really out of place. But yeah, as soon as as soon as the crew land on the on the island, they go ahead and find a treasure and they sing a song about walking. But that mm-hmm. song, but we're not gonna count that song since it was basically like uh, like five seconds. So mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, which uh, which would be like to be fair. Uh, which would be like to be fair. Like uh, for the Wiggles, it's probably a feat right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, they, they they search for the treasure, and little did they know that they're standing on the X. But they don't see they don't see the spot because apparently the tree that 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 marked the spot had been hit by lightning. So mm-hmm. it took a while for them to find the the buried treasure. Once they find it, though, they dig it right, and what's inside the treasure? Well, look at uh, well, uh, well, look at that. They found my Bushes Baked Beans, which is not a sponsor for this episode. But go buy some Bushes Baked Beans, or I'll come to your house and... Okay, 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 okay. 
the first time, the first, when I heard that it was baked beans, I, 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 no joke, I, I, I actually started laughing off screen. So I couldn't so <laughs> hear me because I had my mic muted, but I was laughing hysterically. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, well, actually, honestly, like, uh, honestly, the first time that, like, uh, we did find out it was baked beans, I actually do remember you actually, like, uh, jo uh, joining along with the crew and actually, and actually shout out baked beans. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Baked beans. Which hey, actually, Bing. which actually, I, I, at first I didn't remember this, but Big Beams comes back later in the first TV series, actually. So, oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 maybe later on we'll find out, like you know, why uh, uh, why kind of feathers are likes baked beans so much. <laughs> it's a running, <laughs> gag, it's a running gag in the Wiggles with, with, with Captain Feathersword, but you'll see when we get to the first TV series. Okay, okay, well, I'm looking forward to that. Well, basically, they're so disappointed that they got baked beans that Captain Feathersword is like. Oh, don't worry, me hearties. Uh, at least we got some fun getting to the church, you know? And, 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 still, pretty, and, and, and pretty much, and pretty much, the crew just gave Captain Feather Sword a death glare, and pretty much Penelope, uh, Pen uh, Penelope pointed at him and shouted, "Get him!" <laughs> but no, but no, but no. They they just yeah. they just had fun and they celebrated. So anyway, that was that was a uh, buried treasure, and honestly, this story was somewhat better than uh than uh the storm, much better than the storm actually. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty good, but it's not one of my favorites from the from the album. It's good, it's good, but I will admit there are some parts that do drag on a little bit, a little bit for too long, but not as bad as in uh, not as bad as in the storm, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, like honestly, I do agree with you. Like, uh, uh, honestly, like uh, this is very like uh, interesting. So I guess like uh, now will be the uh, time to uh, bring it up. But yeah, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, for the album title, like you know, the Adventures of Captain Feather Sword and everything. This is the only type of adventure we ever see him and the crew ever go on and such, because, like, it's like, a, yeah, spoilers, the very last story, like, it takes place to, uh, back on the ship again and such. Uh, but honestly, uh, but I'll say, like, uh, for the third story to actually, like, um, as the captain and the crew go on an adventure, um, basically, uh, basically listening to it, like, the third time and everything, especially, like, uh, starting a second time as well, too. Um, I definitely will give credit for, like, uh, Craig, uh, for, like, uh, for, like, Craig and, like, the rest of the Wiggles and everything, and that, like, uh, and then, like, uh, pretty much, uh, they actually do a very good job on, like, on uh, pretty much, like, uh, making this adventure and everything fun and such. Like, uh, pre uh, pretty much no joke and such. Like, uh, pr uh, pretty much, like, as soon as, like, uh, they get off the ship and everything and they're on the island and such. Uh, uh, pre uh, pretty, much, uh, pretty much, like, the nice little um, clues or at least, like, um, uh, pre uh, pretty much the uh, details about, like, what this island contains and everything. Like, uh, pre uh, pretty much it's very easy for, like, uh, kids and such and, like, especially anyone else to, like, uh, visualize this island off the top of their head as well too, and I pretty much like uh, see like, and I pretty much try to figure out like, okay, well, where could this like uh, buried treasure be uh, be you know buried at and such like, uh, pre and uh, pretty much also the nice little uh, details about what uh, uh, what happened to the tree as well too. Um, it's actually very clever. Like so, pre uh, so pretty much I definitely do give him like an A and everything uh, for the story and and uh, honestly yeah like uh, based uh, basically the uh, little uh, plot twist as well too about the uh, treasure chest carrying baked beans and such. Like, um, honestly, that part and everything as well, too, um, pretty much just everything, like, within the story uh, overall and such, like, uh, there's definitely a lot of parts within the story as well, too, that definitely does make it a lot more fun than the last one, and, uh, and again, like, uh, yeah, for a title with uh, being an adventure and such, like, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much, like, it's a fun adventure, like, through and through, like, I really don't have, like, uh, 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 uh well, honestly, like, the only really, like, yeah, negative part I will say about, like, uh, the story is just like the song Treasure Chairs being in a weird place to begin with and such. And also, and also, that, um, and also that drags on a little bit. And like you said, you know, the, the, the twist where it's basically baked beans, hilarious, you know, still hilarious. It is. It, uh, it is very, very hilarious. And uh, pretty much, honestly, like, uh, with that and such, like, um, I have no problems giving, uh, I have really, like, no problem giving, like, uh, Bay, uh, uh, Bay, Tre uh, Bay Treasure a uh, 7 out of 10 in terms of story and such. Yeah, I think 7 is the best rating I can give to the story, you know. It, it's it's the perfect rating to, to give it. Agreed. Pretty much agreed. Alright, so now we move on to the fourth and last story, which uh, I gotta let Sakoa take it with this one, which basically involves uh, birthday parties and birthday surprise yeah, parties. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, as you, and as you guys may know, for, for, the, for the ones that are new to the channel, in case, in case for the ones that are new to the channel don't know, I despise birthday surprise parties, birthday surprise stories. Pretty much. So, but pretty, uh, but pretty much, will this birthday surprise story be different? Well, let's see. Cause yeah. So, spoiler alert: the one that's having a birthday party is Captain Feather Sword, actually. So, pretty much, the uh, story starts with uh, Captain Feather Sword, which. Uh, wait, I forgot honestly, to say. I forgot to say the title. 
Uh, I, I, actually, I'll go ahead and say it. So it's called the day Penelope Raj and Imran surprised Captain Feathersword. So anyway, uh, the beginning of this story and such, uh, we have uh, Captain Feathersword moping like inside his office and such. Uh, which, uh, which actually for this part and everything, like uh, even though I do love Paul, it's like uh, Captain Feathersword and everything. Uh, pretty much it's this story in of itself and everything. Well, you can tell that like uh, Anthony. Uh, Anthony also had like a couple of his uh, fun moments as well too, playing Captain Feather Sword, uh, especially the part where like uh, he's acting like you know all depressed and everything because like uh, because like he uh, he thinks that like his crew forgot his birthday party as well. Uh, and uh, honestly, my favorite part is just being uh, it's just him just going like oh. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, just every time he says that, like uh, it does it does make me laugh a bit. But uh, ba uh, but basically, yeah. So spoiler alert, but like uh, yeah, Penelope, Raj, and, and uh, Imrod didn't forget Captain. The source birthday because they actually explained in the song we're playing a trick on the captain and such and uh bas and uh, basically for this song and everything like um it's a very catchy song i will admit like uh, honestly the vocals and the uh harmony as well too that like uh, the crew gives it a song as well too and everything um it's very catchy i will admit and such like uh yeah pretty much like it's very catchy and such um the, uh, the lyrics are just like a uh, very simple and uh, in uh, uh simple and easy to follow along um, it actually does feel like another, like, a shindity in a sort of way, too, with the way that, like, uh, the scene we're playing a trick on a captain. So, uh, uh, honestly, for the song in and of itself, like, it's a very fun song and such. Like, I actually, you, um, I just still enjoy it to this day and such. And, and pretty much, again, like, it's a no-brainer why, like, uh, the song will later get reused, like, in the, uh, later, in the, uh, later album and such. So, pretty much for, like, we're playing a trick on a captain, um, I'm gonna give it a, a 7 out of 10, honestly. Alright, so for me, the, uh, the, the, uh, this version... I'm not a big fan of this version. I'm gonna get this out of the way, and it mostly has to do with the fact that it's only the the uh, there's only like a flute playing the playing the two, and I'm sitting here going, yeah, that can get annoying pretty quick. So as I was saying, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the of this version on the album because the flute can get annoying. I will say that to me at least. I don't know. I, I don't know about you. The flute to me. Uh, honestly, like uh, uh, honestly, the flute never really bothered me all that much. Like. Uh, honestly, I think it's because I like you know, um, with the song being short enough as it is and everything, like uh, uh, and that like you know, th uh, it doesn't really like it didn't really affect me too much. Uh, it's basically what I'm saying. All right, well for me, I'm not a big fan of just like how they, there's only the flute in this song. Basically, I prefer the mm -hmm. 2006 re-recording, which demolishes this re demolishes this recording in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I understand. And yeah, uh, this version, this version, while I don't like it. It's pretty short and it doesn't overstay its welcome. So for me, this one gets a six. Oh, six. Okay, that's, uh, that's still not too bad. Uh, all right, so pretty much after this, and okay, I'm gonna get ready. Uh, I'm, actually, I'm gonna get ready for this because, like, um, oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. actually technically not part of the album. But during the third listening, Barney and I actually discovered something very rare when listening to the album. So I'll go ahead and explain this. So, all right, so when uh, all right, so when the time came for like um, the crew to tell. Uh, uh, for the crew to bring Captain Feathersword over so they can uh, surprise him with a surprise birthday party. Um, I believe it was Raj, right? Was it Raj or Imrod? I think it was Raj. Yeah, Raj. Okay. So, uh, so ba uh, yeah, so basically Raj knocks on the door and basically, like, uh, he comes up to the captain and basically and basically, he's like, Captain, we need you. And Captain Feathersword's like, what do you need me for? And then right after that, that's when the, uh, that's when the YouTube ads started playing and they could not have picked up... They could not have picked a better ad and a per not only a better ad but right the perfect moment to basically answer like the captain's question because because li because li literally the because uh, literally ad like uh, it was playing like an insurance commercial and, ba uh, and basically I believe the narrator like uh, said you something like sure. well, what you could do is to start shaving or something like that and and pretty uh, and pretty much as soon as that happened both body and I burst out laughing just be <laughs> just because of the perfect timing. And just because of that perfect timing, and when that ad like was literally playing right in the middle of an album and everything, so, so, uh, so pretty much, uh, so pretty much, I've been never telling Barney about this as well too, and that like, you know what? I think that's the only time where I'm ever gonna say GG to a YouTube ad and such. So, so GG YouTube, GG, you got yeah. us good there, man. That was awesome. You got us good. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I. I uh, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, that, uh, that was such an experience for us that, like, Barney and I were just like, yeah, you know what? We got to talk about this. Yeah, uh, we got to uh, talk absolutely. about this. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, that was, and it's true. It did happen. And the, both of us started laughing hysterically. That that was that was the best thing ever that ever happened. I, it, 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 it was. Because, like I said, as soon as the YouTube band started playing everything, I literally paused. And, and basically, both Barney and I took a brief moment until, until we just both started laughing and laughing and laughing. <laughs> 
Far, far yeah, I like, I, I like, I like, I like. I said, that was just, uh, that was just an experience. That was just an experience that, like, I don't even know how many people probably like, uh, 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 were probably even experienced something like that to begin with and such. But, but it was something. It was definitely very something indeed. Indeed. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so pretty much going back to the re, uh, so pr uh, pretty much going back to like you know the real plot and such. So okay, so what actually happened is that like uh, pretty much um, as soon as Raj like uh, uh, knocks on the door and uh, wants to bring the captain over for something important, the captain's just like, "Well, okay, I guess I'll go." And pretty and uh, pretty much that's when like uh, the crew like surprised the captain and such, and the captain's like, "Oh, so you did it on my birthday? Oh, thank God! I was gonna make you all walk the plank to get a new crew. Oh, thank you so much." <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, pretty much like as soon as like uh, yeah, the captain is feeling happy again. That's when we have the other song, "Have a Happy Birthday" and such, which honestly is a fine birthday song for what it is. But uh, honestly, in terms of like birthday songs, or at least like the kind of birthday songs I've heard, like uh, compared to this one and everything, it's definitely not going to be in my top five or top ten like anytime soon, as far as uh, as far as I'm aware and such. Uh, but in terms of like a birthday song for the Wiggles, or at least like um, actually, you know what? Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I just thought. Yeah, I just thought about this. I think this is actually the second birthday song we actually uh, ever listened from the Wiggles, isn't it? Yeah, because we had Dorothy's birthday party. Yeah, 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 because we had Dorothy's birthday. Um, I, I, honestly, you know what? If I had to pick between like those two songs, like um, I know Barney's probably gonna kill me for this, uh, but uh, uh, but honestly, uh, but honestly, I definitely would listen to like a Dor uh, Dorothy's uh, birthday party song a lot more than this one. I to be perfectly I would, honest, I wouldn't kill you because it's an opinion. So of course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know that. But, uh, but but pretty, yeah, I, I'm uh, the complete opposite. I, I will take this song over to Arlie's birthday party. At least, <laughs> at least the original, the original. 98 yeah, version. Pretty, yeah, 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 pretty much. I had a feeling you would say that. <laughs> the 98 version, I, I'll I'll take it over over this. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, because like I said, like, at least in terms of, like, this birthday song, like, it's fine and such. Like, it's pretty cute and everything as well, too. But there's really nothing much, uh, there's really nothing much in it. I like, uh, and I like, uh, pretty much makes me want to come back to it, like, Time and time again and everything. So, uh, but like, uh, but like I said, like everything else about like, uh, but like I said, like the song itself is fine and everything. I really don't have much of a problem for it. So, I'm just gonna give it a straight six out of ten, to be honest. All right. Well, well, this is one. This is one we're gonna have a, a little bit of a disagreement on. I think Go this ahead. version. I think this song is better than the song that came before it. Oh, okay. Not by much though. Mostly a seven, because I I love the song. And the 2006 version is also great. Where. Or basically, you have all the all the all his uh, crew singing. I cook your favorite chocolate cake. I yeah, cook... yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like uh, uh, that right there and everything. Like, I definitely would agree with you that like uh, that like it uh, that like uh, that right there is uh, uh, it's definitely one of the best parts and like uh, he, the album in of itself. He hung the streamers on the wall, and also I I hung the streamers on the wall. I love how they they change voices. That that's that's I love that. <laughs> me too, honestly. Me too. Wait until we get. Wait until we get to, to the 2006 uh, uh, adaptation they did of this story. Actually, hmm, interesting. Alrighty, I'm, de uh, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that then. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, this is this, this is the end of stories and so. Oh wait, for, we forgot the rating for this story overall. Oh, okay, so for me, uh, all right. So for me, in terms of this story and everything, it's fine. It's short and sweet to the point and everything. Like. Uh, honestly, there's nothing really in it to write home about, like, in terms of, like, birthday episodes, like, it's fine, but definitely not the best, um, I'm gonna be a little, uh, honestly, I'm gonna be a little generous, cause, like, you know, both, cause, like, uh, the two songs that were featured on this album, what's definitely, uh, uh, we're definitely the highlights and such, so, uh, and, and pretty much, like I said, Anthony's performance of Captain Feather Story, but this story, uh, de uh, definitely was a lot of fun, I will definitely say oh, that, yeah. he, uh, he no, no question about it, he did a great job. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so pretty much with that and everything, like I'm gonna be a little generous and give it, and uh, basically give this final story a six out of ten. All right. Well, everybody, everybody's. Every, I, I assume everybody's looking at me right now. As you know, <laughs> I hate birthday surprise stories because I find it so predictable that it's not even that that I don't even care about the episode anymore. But I will say this All about right. the story: it is predictable. Yes. It is very predictable because we know we know how the surprise party is going to end. They're going to surprise him, but I'll, at least I'll give them this: they didn't overdo it with with mm -hmm. keeping the captain waiting. Because if that would have happened, I would have rated the story much lower. Because that's the thing that really annoys me about birthday surprise stories: they unintentionally drag it basically to, because they're not ready yet. But this story to me is a seven. All right, not bad. 
yeah, as much as it as much as it's predictable, it doesn't overstay its welcome too much. And the songs in this story were great. You know, I may yeah. I may I may not like one. I may not I may like one less than the other, but it was still a good story nonetheless. So yeah, mm-hmm. seven out of ten for yeah. me. All right, great, very great. All right, well, that was the uh, four stories. So, uh, so pretty much, what do, uh, so pretty much, what do we think about this uh, album overall? Um, I, I actually, I actually, you want to give your final rating for the album first, or should we move to rankings? Uh, let's uh, do the scores first. Okay. All right. So pretty much at the end of the day, uh, Barney and I just have to be completely honest with you guys, and that like honestly. This is definitely the weakest album so far from the Wiggles, uh, uh, from the Wiggles ca- uh, category and everything. Like, uh, honestly, I will say at least this and everything. Like, uh, when I was going in this album and everything, I was uh, I wasn't gonna go in. Uh, I wasn't going in with like high high expectations and everything. Uh, but honestly, like uh, when we were listening like to the album and everything, and listening to the stories and such, like we gotta be honest and everything. Like we like the Wiggles and everything, and we know they could be like very creative, like. Uh, like when it comes to like music videos and just music in of itself in general and such, but honestly, like when it came to the stories of itself, outside of like uh, uh, the treasure chest one and um, a little bit of the birthday one as well too, most of them were pretty uh, pretty much for the most part they were kind of just there, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now about this album. This album this album is not that great, to be completely honest with you guys. I think the problem with this album is that the stories take center fold instead of the songs, which is the which is what most people want the Wiggles to do. They want songs, not stories. Mm-hmm. And if they want stories, tell them visually, not by audio, because sometimes telling them by audio is a little bit difficult because it's left to the viewer's interpretation, which is not a bad thing because, you know, kids have a great imagination and stuff. But Yeah, they do. At least for me, I know I'm not the target demographic, and so it's, and, and Sokola isn't as well. We're not the target demographic for the Wiggles, but at least it's better to tell a story visually because you get to see what's going on. With audio, it's a little bit difficult because you have to imagine what's going on, and sometimes. Well, it's not only just that, but it's just like uh, pretty much if you're gonna do it with audio as well too, then uh, then I mean like uh, pretty much like you gotta make it like very entertaining. as like as best as you can as well too, because like because uh, 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 like if you don't make it entertaining, or at the very least, like if you don't if you don't provide enough details to like uh, not uh, not only make kids and everything, but pretty much like uh, make uh, make uh, make your average like. Um, uh, Wiggles fan, like, picture what's going on, like, uh, within the story and of itself and everything, like, if they're just, uh, pretty much, like, if they're just picturing, like, uh, Captain Feather Story and the crew just staying on the ship for, like, uh, for, like, the whole story and everything and nothing really else happens and such, they're definitely gonna feel, uh, def- uh, they're definitely gonna feel bored by the end, and that's pretty much, like, what I was feeling, too, for, like, uh, for, pre- uh, for pretty much, like, most of this album as well, too, like, uh, like, again, I'll sound like the treasure chest as well, too, and the other two stories that, like, really don't offer that much, because, like, again, like, for an album title like the adventures of Captain Feather Sword, like we really don't really go that much on like adventures that much. Like, and, like pretty much most of the album, we're just spending time on the ship, and that's it. Yeah, and and it, and some some of the stories do drag on, and and that that's really a problem because you know. Yeah, it is like, I, I like I said, like we mean uh, we mean no disrespect to the Wiggles and everything, like because again, like we know they're popular for a reason and for good reason as well too, because because uh, like I said, like if you guys been following, uh, if you guys been following, like. Um, our last reviews on the Wiggles as well too. Like, pretty much both, uh, pretty much both Bonnie and I can at all. But like, they have very great talent. Like, and uh, pretty much like uh, with that great talent, like they can make very great like songs, and not only just songs, but like they can also make some very, uh, for, uh, some very nice, colorful, uh, colorful, and even visual pleasing like uh, music videos to go along with it. Exactly. Yeah. So and, they pretty- also, and they can they can also make great albums. Like the first album, I still think the first album was a classic. Yeah, I may, I may have I may have rated some songs low, but. I still think the first album is a masterpiece. I, I, I mean, in a way, it is. Uh, I, I mean, in a way, it is. And even uh, and even with the last album as well, too, despite, like, some of the filler songs in there, like, there were still a couple of, like, very great songs within that second album as well, too, that, like, that uh, pretty much even I myself, that's not really much of a Wiggles fan and everything, uh, pretty much uh, uh, could pretty much still enjoy to this day and everything as well, too. And that's saying something, like... So pretty much, like, to see, like, this album and everything, like, while there are, like... Uh, while there are still some, like creative aspects to it and uh, like uh, it still offers like uh, some very great songs as well too like within the album and of itself i could definitely see why allegedly and everything like this album like may or may not have done that well and everything from what barney has told me and such i think it and- didn't do very well because from what from from what i've researched you know this album is very rare and 
allegedly this did, it didn't sell very well because you know the the, the stories you know it, it was it was a, a series done by the abc and, and it didn't last very long from what i was able to research it only lasted one year pretty much i mean i, I mean like again there's no wonder why they're like not even just uh, not even just Wiggles fans or Wiggles historians, but, uh, but even the Wiggles themselves kind of, uh, sometimes uh, sometimes kind of prefer like you know they uh, uh, kind of prefer to like to forget this album as best they can and such. And I mean, in a way, like I don't really blame them all too much and such because okay, like I mean to be fair, it's not the worst. Like it's not the worst album by a long shot and everything. It's just very much disappointing for a lack of a better word and such. Yeah, exactly. That that's that's the that's the best thing I can describe it. And to me. Right now, this is my least favorite album from from the, from the ones we've reviewed. Yeah, so uh, honestly, Bonnie and I have both thought long and hard about this because, like, because uh, honestly, like, because uh, honestly, like, if we're just going by songs alone, and if you were to tally them up, like, uh, by songs and of itself, they both, uh, they both Bonnie and I like could have rated this a six if we wanted to, but uh, but we uh, but we both thought long and hard, and all, and also taking the stories into consideration as well too. Um, at least for me, I'm gonna have to give this album a five. Yeah, I, for me at the, excuse me, for me at Go the ahead. very least, I'll be honest. I don't, I don't like this album, and I rarely revisit it. The only reason I come back to it is because I want, I want to do some research on it and basically see. Okay, do I remember this album? Let's take a listen. Then I listen to it. I'm like, oh yeah, this album. Yeah, pretty, pretty much my is like, oh yeah, that album. Don't buy. Yeah, and honestly, while there's two stories that I really love from this album, the rest do drag on, and the songs don't help either. Except two, mm -hmm. Captain Featherstone and our Bonus Rock on the Sea. Those two songs are classics, and there, no wonder why they later recorded them. Well, well, except yeah. uh, well, well uh, our Bonus Rock on the Sea, especially, and and we're playing a trick and Happy Birthday. But yeah, to be completely honest with you all, I don't like this album. I really don't like this album. And it's one yeah. of those, it's one of those albums where I only come back to it if I have to do like a, a documentary on the Wiggles or basically research on them. But yeah. For the most part, I'll definitely avoid this album because it's just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Yeah, if you if you're if you're a collector thinking of getting this album, just get it for the collection. Just don't don't bother listening to it. Just keep it under 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 some. Uh, honestly, uh, honestly, if you are yeah, yeah, like I said, if you really do want this album that badly, get it and then just like bury it somewhere in the grave. No, just just basically put it as as a display case in a display case. Basically. Yeah, don't play it because yeah, this album is just a waste of time. So, Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Man, I hate to say this. I really hate to say this. But this happened to me is a three. Wow, that low. Wow. Uh, uh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. So pretty much even with the song, uh, uh, wow, uh, wow. Even uh, even the songs, like, really did not save it all that much. Like, wow. Okay, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, honestly, I was not expecting you to give it a I was going to give it a four, but then I thought to myself, is this an album I will come back to? If if, mm -hmm. if if they if if uh, if I had to, if I wanted to, and I thought no, no. Yeah, I, 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 honestly, that's fair, and, and, and that's totally fair right there. Yeah. So yeah, my rating is harsh. I will admit, yes, but I just gotta be honest because this album to me is a waste of time. Mm -hmm. It had a great concept, but it just didn't work. It didn't work for me. What about you? Uh, honestly, like I said, like. All right, so pretty much going in this album and everything, like, even though I, uh, even though I am a little disappointed, like, by the end results of the album and everything, like, honestly, it's pretty much like you said, like, we still gotta remember that, like, technically, we're still not like the main demographic for the Wiggles and everything, and I mean, like, uh, I'll, and I mean, like, uh, and I mean, like, yeah, uh, yes, while uh, while the stories definitely could have been a lot better and everything, like, uh, like I said, there was nothing really in them that was like um, offensively bad, or at least any, uh, or at least any parts that like really made me rage or anything it just made me bored and such and uh but i mean like uh, even with like a couple of the uh, bored moments here and there and everything like there were still some parts like within like the stories like uh even with the songs that like you know the stories compliment and everything uh, th uh, there were still some parts to where like at the end of the day and everything like it's enjoyable enough and i could definitely see like a couple of kids like pro uh, pro uh, pro uh, probably enjoying this album just a little bit or, pr or pretty much at the very least like you know they want to listen to something to like you know help uh, to, uh, to like you know uh, help him feel relaxed or at least like have trouble sleeping or something and everything and like at, at, at the very least like at the very least like this album would definitely be like a good choice so like uh, to like use like a little like uh, audio bedtime story for the kids and such so 
Uh, so, uh, so, I mean, like, at the end of the day, like, I definitely wouldn't mind, like, revisiting it, like, from time to time and everything, but it's definitely... Uh, 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 but like I said, this is definitely one of those albums where it's just like, I don't think I'm not going to revisit it too much. Yeah, and honestly, yeah, so to me, I uh, give it a three, so that's an F. Yeah. That's an F, that's an F basically. Pretty much. I mean, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, yeah, that is an F, actually. Yeah, and honestly, yeah, honestly, all right, let me get this out of the way. Like we said in, in episode two, in episode uh, three, where, where we talked about Here Comes the Song, um, uh -huh. We're not doing this to bash the Wiggles or anything like that. This is basically for fun. This is all for fun. This is not yeah. to bash the Wiggles. But sometimes we do got to be honest with, with ourselves, you know. With, with, we do. With, like, uh, pretty much we got to be honest about not only with ourselves, but pretty much like with the rating as well, too. Yeah, and honestly, I don't think I'll be rid of this album, man. I think this will be the last one I'll get for the collection, basically. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, this, this, this album is just a waste of time, man. I, I'm not in a rush to get it, honestly. Yeah. Same here, honestly. Same here. Yeah. So yeah, that was stories and songs. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointing. Yeah. It was a bit of a disappointing episode. I will say that. Yeah, it kind of was to be honest and such. But, uh, but I mean, like to be fair, like um, I can't say that like I hate her. That like you know, pretty much I didn't have a fun time because like I'm because uh, 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 I mean to give her credit and everything, there were some fun moments with any album as well too. So it's uh, so like I said, I can't really be too harsh with it and everything. But, uh, but, uh, but, I def uh, but I definitely do agree in that, like, uh, in that, like uh, yeah, there definitely could have been a lot of, uh, uh, they probably could have done a lot of stuff to try to, like, improve this album and such. Yeah, the, the, the ideas were there, but they just didn't execute them well. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching uh, Stories and Songs, our review of Stories and Songs. Yeah, yeah, this album might, might have been a disappointment, but it's going to get better with the next album, because the next album is their most... Oh, yummy, yummy. Yeah, the next album is Yummy Yummy, and it's their most re-released album to date. And I mean, honestly, I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, I, I, I'm definitely looking. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to like uh, visiting this album and such. Yeah, that's the one that introduced Hot Potato. You know, the classic songs, basically. Yeah, yeah, pretty much Hot Potato, and, that, and this is also the song that, uh, that also features the uh, Fruit Salad song as well. Finally, after 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 they introduced it in Yum and Wiggle Time, now we get to finally review it for real. So, anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching this episode on It's a Wiggly Wiggly podcast. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button. I mean, if you enjoyed it, because, yeah, this episode was pretty disappointing, but still. Well, I mean, to be fair, like, you know, tech, um, if for some reason you didn't enjoy the album, or, uh, or at the very least you thought we were being a little bit harsh, you can also dislike it, too. We don't care. We won't get our feelings hurt. Yeah, this is all for fun at the end of the day. So if you if you disagree with us, that's completely fine. Don't don't be afraid. Yeah. Don't be afraid to voice your 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 disagreement with us. We're just doing this for fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much, like, pretty, pretty much, like we always said, this is the only reason why. Uh, this is the only reason, like, for us to communicate and everything as well, too. Like, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much, as long as you guys are being honest with us, we're going to be honest with you. Exactly. And if you guys want to see more episodes of the podcast, hit the subscribe button as well. Also, don't forget if you like Thomas, don't forget to check out our Railway Series podcast. It's a wiggle. It's a wiggle. Ah, it's a, ah. Did I say it's a wiggle? Uh, 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 actually, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yes. Don't forget to check out. Uh, uh, yes, don't forget to check out our Thomas and the Wiggles uh, crossover. It's a wiggly, wiggly, wiggly Thomas. I mean to say, if you like Thomas, make sure to check out our other podcast, the really useful podcast where we review the Railway Series. We're right now, we're, as of as of the day we're recording this, we're just about to get started with work on on mainline engines. And, and if you guys have... Uh, and, uh, pretty, mu uh, pretty much, uh, we're definitely looking forward to, uh, 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 to getting into that book sometime soon. Exactly, same here. And also, don't forget to check out our separate channels, Sequoia, Adisa for Sequoia, and Ulti Pot 7 for me. Both channels will be in the description below. And with, uh, and with mm -hmm. that, we'll, we'll see you guys real soon when we get to the next episode. Yummy, yummy. So this has been Bonnie with... Sequoia, Adisa. Saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode when we take a look at Yummy, yummy. So until then, folks, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys... Real soon. Except we're not done yet, ladies and gentlemen, because we kind of forgot to rank the songs in the episode itself. So here's a bonus segment. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yes. Uh, pre uh, pretty much. Actually, we uh, actually we plan all this. All right. <laughs> we're professionals. We promise. <laughs> yeah, we're, prof we're total professionals. We just kind of forgot because um, this album kind of sucks. So. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I mean, yeah, this album kind of sucks, and I mean, like, to be honest, like because these songs like. Uh, because like there were only six songs and everything as well too, like I think that's probably another reason why like uh, we've got to rank the album as well too, or at least like rank the songs. Yeah, totally, totally. So, okay. so, so there's only six. Yeah, songs yeah. In so this pretty album. much. Here we go. We're gonna rank the songs. Um, you want to go first with your ranking, Bonnie? Yeah, let's go first with my ranking. So, all right. All so right, go ahead. A little bit more interesting. We're just gonna go number by number. 
So so people so people yes. can can have some fun in predicting what's gonna be our, our choices. Alright, so my number six at the very bottom, it's treasure chest with a five out of ten. Oh my god, I totally did not see that coming because guess what? What? Tre- uh, tre- uh, treasure chest is also number six with a five out of ten. <laughs> yeah, pre- uh, yeah, pretty much as Barney said, like uh, the song like uh, okay, well the stuff doesn't suck that bad, but it's just one of those songs where it's just like his placement is very weird. It's very weird, and it interrupts the flow of the story. Like I said in the episode itself, I would have preferred it better if it was placed while the cap, while the captain and his crew were walking, or at the end. Mm-hmm. But but because it's placed in all near, literally at the very beginning, I'm like, this doesn't belong here. Get this song out of the way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, th- that that's the reason why I rank it low. So I think we're in agreement that this is the worst song from the album. Okay. All right. So coming up at number five is "Wind, Rain, and the Sea." With a six out of ten. Oh, uh, oh my God, Barney, are you? Re- because that's also my number five. Wind, rain, and the sea. A number with six out of ten and such. Comple- uh, it's just that it, it, it's it, it only lasts like like what ten seconds and. I, I think honestly, uh, I think honestly, yeah, it does last for ten seconds. But uh, but I mean, like to give it fair and everything, those ten seconds and everything, like. Uh, uh, for those ten seconds and everything, like the song was produced decently and such, like I got, uh, we gotta give him some credit for that. Yeah, and especially the the harmonies with uh, Mari and Jeff, those two together harmonizing sound amazing. Agreed, definitely agreed. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so it's number five for you as well, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And number four, coming into number four. Now this time I got it right. All right. So our number four is we're playing a trick on the captain with a six out of ten. Uh, uh, all right. Well, actually, this is one time where like you actually got out of my head because at number four I put "Have a Happy Birthday" with a six out of ten. All right. So the reason I put "We're Playing a Trick on the Captain" on number four instead is because um, I I prefer uh, "Have a Happy Birthday, Captain" because um, I just don't like the that, that there's only one instrument and that's like the flute. I, I prefer the 2006 re recording to this, but you know. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't mind it too much. I just prefer. I just would have wished that they would add more instrumentation. But oh well. What can you do? And it's a six out of ten for me. So go ahead. Why do you Pretty. put? Uh, why do you put? Have a happy birthday, Captain, at number four. Uh, the reason why I put "Have a Happy Birthday" at number four and everything. Um, like I said, in terms of birthday songs, it's okay and everything, but it's definitely not my favorite. I can uh, honestly, I can definitely think of much better birthday songs and everything. I like. Uh, and at the very least, I at the very least I have listened to in my lifetime and such. Uh, but I will admit and everything for a birthday song like it's still pretty chipper and such. Um, I uh, honestly I do li- uh, honestly I do like you know uh, pretty much having the uh, crew and everything, seeing out what they did for uh, what they did while preparing the birthday and everything. Uh, but honestly, pretty much after that, like it's just pretty much like you're a standard typical like uh, birthday song that you probably uh, that you probably heard from other kids, me and everything, which it's not bad like at the end of the day but it doesn't really make it all stand out too much at least in my opinion and, and I so think, pretty much I, that's I why think, I, that's reason, why i have it at number four all right go, uh, sorry about that i was gonna say yeah, that's okay i think the reason they couldn't use the happy birthday song is because apparently the happy birthday is copyright yeah so, yeah, so apparently um, i don't even know if i'm gonna get this into my into like my film of the he- uh, film of the year uh, history but yes uh, uh yes apparently uh, still at this time and everything like um, if you actually wanted to see the actual happy birthday star and everything, you had to pay royalties and everything. Like, so pretty much, like, uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much, even if you just seen like one second or even five seconds of the original happy birthday and everything, you could actually get sued. And uh, and uh, and actually, uh, actually, that, uh, that rule not only apply to like music uh, music studios, but just like any business in general. Like, uh, pretty uh, pretty much even restaurants and such. Like, I, I had to get very creative on like. Out of seeing Happy Birthday without actually seeing the actual song Happy Birthday, and so it's like uh, pretty much just a wild story and such in of itself. Yeah, it's 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 just sad that how 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 such an uh, how such a good song you know for for singing for literally birthdays is copyrighted. I can't I I can't wrap my head around that honestly. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, well, I mean, uh, well, to be fair and everything, like uh, but it gave like uh, music uh, music artists a. Gr- uh, music guard is like a, a great excuse and everything to, uh, to be like very creative like uh, with the star happy birthday put their own twist on it and uh, like I said uh, like I said some of them turn out really well yeah definitely so yeah uh, my number three is have a happy birthday captain and it's a seven out of ten I I, I, lo- I, lo- I right. like this song actually I, I think it's great uh, definitely the 2006 mm-hmm. re- re-recording is also good but this this version is great either way because I I love I love the the little the little uh, keyboard and also the the lyrics so yeah that's why I put it number three 
Uh, number yeah, number three. Yeah. All right. Well, pretty much. Uh, uh, pretty much since you put, uh, we're pretty much since like uh, we're switching here a little bit. Uh, yes, for number three, I uh, I uh, I put that we're playing a trick on a captain. Um, honestly, to me, I did not mind the flute all too much. Uh, to be perfectly honest and everything, I can see how uh, I can see how it could get annoying for you and everything. Cause like uh, yeah, pretty much like uh, uh, pretty much like if the song was any like longer and everything, and like all you hear was just that flute and nothing else. They're pretty much like, yeah, I definitely would be on the same boat. Uh, I definitely would be in the same boat with you and everything. Or like, eh, boat, get it? <laughs> yeah. But uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but pretty much, uh, yeah, I'd be in the same uh, boat as you and everything. And that, like, uh, yeah, the song can get annoying. Uh, but because the song doesn't overstay its welcome too much, and like, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much like it's just short and sweet to the point and such. That like, uh, honestly, sometimes I find myself not uh, not in my head alone, like, uh, with the song and everything. And sometimes, and uh, sometimes like. Um, uh, honestly, I find this one a uh, uh, I find this one just a bit more catchier than like uh, have a happy birthday and everything. So yeah, for, uh, so yeah, for me, I put this one at number three and I gave it a rating of seven out of ten. All right, so now we're now we're on to the top two. I think everybody knows what, yes. what our top twos are gonna be, but for me, at number two, we have Captain Feather Sword, and it's a seven out of ten. And a seven out of ten. I'm not gonna get I'm not a, I'm not gonna get too much into this song because we already talked about it in the actual episode itself. But I I still think mm -hmm. the song is a classic, you know. I, I love the I love how it, how it, it basically introduces you to who Captain Feather Sword is and how to do the pirate dance and all that stuff, and, and also the the instrument the instrumentation is really good as well. So yeah, that's why I put it number two. I I think my number one pick is miles better than than number two, but yeah. Well, okay. Uh, uh, well, uh, well, pretty much, like, if this is my number two, then you guys already know what Barney's number one is going to be, but, yeah, for number two, for me, is our boat is rocking on the sea and everything, I gave this one a 7 out of 10, and uh, I'll be honest, first time I heard it and everything, like, I wasn't too sure what to make of it just yet and such, um, I mean, like, I did like it and everything, but I wasn't too sure if I was gonna like it as, like, uh, part of the other songs in this album as well, too, so, uh, so pretty much just to be on the safe side, originally I put this, like, uh, somewhere in the middle and everything, uh, but then when, uh, but then once we listened to it a second time and everything, I was just like, no, actually, you know what, this song is pretty catchy and everything, and like, uh, uh, actually, like you know, visual wise and everything, like, uh, pre uh, pretty much like the song actually does make for a great little visual about like what's happening with the captain ship and everything, and uh, and uh, also as well too, like uh, yeah, Penelope like uh, provided some really great vocals as well too during the middle part about like. Uh, ba uh, basically when the uh, when the sea uh, sea starts calming down and everything, it'll start sailing again. So. Uh, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty much like for uh, for number two. That's the reason why I have. Uh, that's the reason why I put our bonus rocket on the sea for number two. And again, I gave it a seven out of ten. All right. Well, obviously my number one is our bonus rocket on the sea, and it's a nine out of ten for me. I love this song. <laughs> honestly, I really love this song. Like it's so catchy, and and the ninety the this the version from this album is great. You know, but I think hands down the best version of the song is the ninety nine recording. Yeah, but we'll get to that recording when we get to it because uh, I have a lot of good things to say about it. But now's not the time. But but yeah, uh, yeah, this <laughs> song, yeah, this song, this song is great. You know, I love I love everything about the song. It's so catchy. The, the, the lyrics are great. The instrumentation is great. Greg does a Greg does a great job in singing it as well. I will give you that as well. I mean, I mean, pretty much he certainly does. He certainly does. And yeah. Alrighty, well, pretty much. Uh, go ahead. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> no, I just said, and yeah, that's why I put it. That's that's why my, that this is my favorite song from the album. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So for me now, this time, uh, pretty much, uh, yeah. So for my number one is going to be Captain Feather Sword, and uh, honestly, yeah, first uh, at least the first time I listened to it and like uh, uh, saw, uh, saw the music video for it for Wiggle Time and everything, I was like, okay, yeah, I can pretty much get behind the song and everything, like. Uh, pretty much, I like the introdu uh, uh, I like the introduction of the bagpipes uh, throughout the song and everything. And uh, pretty much, uh, as I uh, as I also say as well too, like uh, when I uh, when I review the uh, song as well during the album segment, uh, pretty uh, pretty much, I also like how like a uh, part of the song as well too is just like uh, teaching you how to dance while also like showing you like uh, pretty much uh, pretty much like what pirates or ship crews like usually do to their ships and everything. At least uh, at least uh, at least definitely back then, like uh, back in those days and such. Um, although there are still some sailboats like. You know, sailing around here or there. So like, uh, uh, so like, yeah, like, uh, pretty much like, um, uh, pretty much like, uh, even if you have like the music video, or even if you don't like have the music video and everything, like, uh, just having like uh, Captain Feather Sword, like, uh, himself and everything, like, showing you like what kind of dance moves he wants you to do and everything, um, it gives you enough to at least like visualize in your hand about like uh, what uh, what you normally do when you like, you know, climb the ropes and such, or like hop on one foot and everything. 
And uh, yeah, pretty much like uh, throughout this whole song and everything, like uh, pr uh, pretty much it does a very great job introducing a captain, as Barney said. So yeah, for that reason alone, this is a reason why Captain Feather Story is my number one favorite star from this album, and I give it an eight out of ten. Awesome. So there you have it, guys. Th that's the rankings for ours. For, for that's our rankings for this album. And yeah, yes. I still I still concur with what I said in the actual review in the actual episode itself. Like. This album, when you think about it, there's only like if you take out the bad songs and put and, and make a, a decent and you, if you take out the bad songs, you can have a decent EP here. Pretty much, yeah, and like, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much like if I was forgetting like uh, to do the rankings of the songs and everything, just to say how much I like we really wanted to get this album over with and everything, then well, I mean like this alone should probably tell you how much of a depression uh, did this album leave for us? Uh, um, uh, uh, did this album uh, left for us like in the end and everything? It's a very forgettable album at the end of the day, to be completely honest with you. It is and such, and pretty, uh, pretty much, uh, pretty much like, uh, uh, pretty much like we said, and everything as well too. Uh, we don't blame the fans or even the Wiggles himself for like, uh, for like wanting to try to forget this album as best they can. Yeah, because like this, this I think that, yeah, this is the last album that was deleted from the catalog. So, and, and, and I mean, like, uh, pretty much in some ways, like I got, uh, I can understand why. But also at the same time, like when you also think about it, like. It's also kind of a shame as well too that like, uh, uh, they pretty uh, they pretty much like uh, they do kind of want to forget this album because I uh, li uh, like we said like even though like yeah it's not like the best album or like you know their best work period and such like this album's still playing a important part and like uh, uh, not uh, not only just the Wiggles and everything but uh, well actually yeah more so just the Wiggles and such because like I said this was the album to introduce Captain Feather Sword to begin with and such so. So, uh, so I mean, like, pretty much without this album and everything, like, uh, uh, pretty much, like, who knows, like, uh, what Anthony would have done with Captain Feather Sword in the end and everything. And I will get, and I'll say this about this album: the Wiggles were never afraid to try new things. If it worked, it worked. If it didn't, then they will say, "Okay, then uh, this this doesn't work." Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much like uh, that, that. I can also understand as well too. Like, pro uh, probably the Wiggles, uh, probably like, uh, uh, honestly, like, I do not blame the Wiggles. Like, if they actually thought. Uh, pretty much like they thought to themselves to where like, uh, to uh, to where uh, basically they were like, hey, you know what? Like, uh, we're actually doing very good in terms of like making songs for children. Can we actually write stories for children as well too? And and uh, pretty and uh, pretty much they were, uh, pretty much they were just like, let's try it out and such. And uh, 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 honestly, like um, I will say, like uh, we do know that like even though like this is the like only EP slash storytelling they uh, they want to do for like um, in terms of albums and of themselves, like. This is definitely not going to be the last time they're going to be writing stories for children, period, as well, too. And uh, pretty much no doubt in everything, like, uh, once we get to, like, the TV series and movies as well, too, like, uh, pretty much there's probably going to be no doubt in everything, and, like, they're probably, uh, they're probably going to improve as well, too, in terms of, like, storytelling and everything. Yeah, yeah, the seeds were planted there, but the, but the quality of the writing wasn't there yet. Which which is why, uh, when we get to the movie, that's when you'll start to see the difference. So anyway, guys, uh, th th this has been Stories and Songs, and uh, we apologize if we kind of forgot to rank the songs. We, we just wanted to get this album out, out of the way because uh, I just want to move on to Yummy Yummy. Well, we want to move on to Yummy Yummy. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. So ho uh, hopefully once we get to the next album and everything, hopefully it's going to be a very massive improvement over this album and such. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so, let's, see, uh, so let's see what happens if that's going to be true and such. Definitely. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching our episode on stories and songs. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you guys want to see more episodes of It's a Weekly Weekly Podcast, hit the subscribe button as well. Also, don't forget to check out our Thomas Podcast, the really useful podcast where we review the Railway Series. And with that, we're done with yes. stories and songs. Ah, about time we got done with this album. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, definitely. So anyway, guys, this has been Bonnie with so go ahead and easel. Saying thank you for watching, and we'll be seeing you guys in the next episode when we take a look at Yummy Yummy. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye. Bye, folks.